Ava and Kelly Clarkson. Thank you so much. Hello. Hi. Well, let's just start with this. Uh, the two of you coming together, we know that Kelly's a huge fan of yours. How did you first come up with this idea to do this, and what's it been like working together? First, I didn't do this. Somebody called and said, y'all want to do one together. They asked me a long time ago if I want to do Crossroads, and I said, oh, I, just, I don't know. I don't know. And then Kelly and I started hanging out together in L.A., and she came and did the television show with me, and I asked her to do the duets album with me. And, and then uh, Narvel said, Crossroads is calling again. I said, Kelly, yeah. So uh -huh. I'm and been, I was excited. <laughs> I've been dragging her everywhere. Come on, right do this on. with yeah. me. We're having no. a great time. She can go way lower than I can. <laughs> she can go so, way higher than I can. So yeah, I've been, that's, I'm working that out. But um, she puts a lot of words in her songs. I do. I'm working. Okay, fancy. Okay, well, okay. I didn't write that. That's okay. Bobby Gentry's fault. Yeah, I was like, that's a wordy song. <laughs> yeah, no, there's minor wordy. So. I know you know I know. Yeah, no, like, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. lots of telephone. Yeah. Uh huh. Kelly, uh, you've mentioned many times that Reba's music and, and Reba herself. Almost stalkerish, right? It's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> to talk about what inspiration you received from listening to her music and from talking to Reba I think, okay. <laughs> um, no, I think it's really the storyteller aspect. Like even today, like listening to Because of You, like a song I wrote when I was a kid, like it's very close to me and I don't really like other people like seeing it, but like when she does it, it's like it totally amazes me. It's way better than I told it. Like, and it's my story. So it's Thank just you, listening to her is is amazing. She's got this whole aspect um, of just storytelling that I don't think many singers have. Um, I think I learn a lot about that, and honestly, a lot of just professionalism. I'm I'm very much a rookie, and I get really nervous about talking and not singing. I'm fine, but talking, I'm not so fine. So um, I just learned a lot of that from her too. Just watching her, she's a. It's amazing how she how well she is at it. So. Uh -huh. Can you tell us anything about it, and is there a chance that we'll be hearing it tonight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anything about it, so you can have sound about it later? Well, it's a, it's a real cute, up-tempo song that uh, I found, and Kelly fell in love with it just like I did, and it will be performed tonight, and I hope you all like it as much as we do. It, it's called uh, A Lot Like You. That's really cute. Kelly, do you mind if you have a lot of country fans in your audience? Um, I don't know. My audience is so weird because I'm blessed. American Idol really opened up my whole audience spectrum. So um, I, there's a lot of fans. It's weird. My audience, if you come to tour, you'd think it'd be just young girls, but it's not. It's like, you know, old, young kids, guys, girls. Like, it's weird. So my, my audience is pretty pretty wide. So I'm lucky. It's because of American Idol, obviously. When she came to, on, to be on the Reba set to do the television show, it was just... It's so exciting and so cute to watch everybody from catering to uh, into the writers' rooms. Everybody wanted to come down and watch, and, and she was so sweet to everybody. So everybody is a fan of Kelly Clarkson. That, no, that's not true, but I can tell you some but that aren't. But no, and, and every, <laughs> two. But, um, so no, some I got I got a few that don't. But no, I, everybody at the show though as well. Like I think that's one thing I've learned from her too. Everything starts at the top. And I think that's how, like, everyone that works with her, like, watching her, even, like, I went to go see her in Vegas, and it was my first time ever to see her live, actually, because I was really poor growing up. And um, it was just amazing to see all the people, like, they're so nice. Like, everyone in her band, everyone that she works with, like, everyone is real cool. And I think it starts with her and Narvel. Like, they're just so great and appreciative of people, you know, and I don't think a lot of people are like that. So hopefully I'll pick that up. So. You already are. Huh? The purpose of this uh, show is We've done eight songs on the duet album so far. Kelly was the first to came and perform with me here to Nashville, and we've already recorded with uh, Ronnie Dunn of Brooks and Dunn, Vince Gill, Faith Hill, Leanne Rhymes, uh, Carol King, Don Henley, and Kenny Chesney. It's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> Justin Timberlake did write a song uh, for me and him to sing together, 
and we're hoping to do that in the near future. Yeah, so it will be on the duets album. Yeah. Is there a release date for the duets album? Do you have any idea when it might come out? This fall. Yeah. Kelly, music for you, anything that you're writing and working on? Uh, my album's finished, so um, you know we're just finding out when that's going to come out, and uh, I think it's supposed to be um, probably right before summer. So because there's a big summer tour we've already planning, so I love touring. And as far as your writing. Uh, I actually ended up writing all of it, so I wrote with some people, but on on the whole record. So I didn't plan that, but it just kind of happened. Now, Kelly, on previous albums, we learned a little bit about you and your background and things like that. What are the answers that were new about you on this upcoming album? Because you know, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but you know, what are the answers that were new about you on this upcoming album? And what are they going to be surprised to find out? Um, it's a. I'm a very happy person, but I tend to write. Um, I think like everyone, therapeutically. So. It's like you're writing in your journal. So I tend to write a little more about the negative things in my life just to get it out so it's not in me. So the record is, a, it's, there's a lot, you know, a lot of sadness and a lot of negative, but a lot of inspirational. It's kind of like because of you. It's sad, but it's almost like you realize what you need to do to get over it or get past it. So the whole album's kind of like that. But um, it's, it's, the rock songs are definitely rock songs. They're, it's not Metallica, obviously, but it's, it's definitely more than pop. It's definitely more than Breakaway. Kind of like how Thankful, um, my first record, is very different from Breakaway. This one's, this one's pretty different as well. And there's a couple on there that are, that are kind of acoustic sounding. So I love that. So. Um, I, uh, I'm trying to, um, I didn't have a whole lot to say. I think that's a lot of beginners, like in the business, you don't have a lot to say with what goes on your first record. So I was lucky to get, you know, Miss Independent and, and Thankful and some of the songs that I wrote on there. But, um, it was a real big battle between a lot of people of what record I was, uh, people wanted a country record, people wanted an R&B record, people wanted a pop record. And, Someone won, and so we make we made that record. And um, I, I don't know. It's you know, obviously, the more you know, I get into this, the more choice and say I get because of people pioneers like um, Reba. So um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know if I. I definitely will in the near future make a country record. I love country music. I have since I was a kid. So I just think it's. I, I don't like to hear people singing the same stuff all the time. It's boring. So I, I like to change it up a bit. So. Reba, can you talk about? <laughs> Can you talk about um, your sitcom? It's one of the best sitcoms on television. Thank you. Now it's gone. Everyone's Stupid. sad. Stupid. Yeah. Have you shopped it to another network? Can we see it again? Are you going to be back with the audience? <laughs> I know it won't be shopped to another network, and it's very sad that it is over because it was a very positive show to watch that I'll hope the whole family could watch together. And But we did wonderful six years, had a great run, and we're very, very thankful for that. I hope someday to get to do another sitcom and do television again. I'm, I, I hope that I'm blessed enough to where it's that ensemble that we all got along. We were like family, and it's uh, it's it's very upsetting, uh, you know, to know that you're not going back uh, to work. It wasn't work. It was fun. We played. We had the best time, and our writers were great. Everybody on the whole team were just super to work with. It was a huge family, and I'm going to miss them. But we do stay in touch, but we just don't get to go in every morning at 9 o'clock and get to play like we did. Does this mean you won't be kissing Jamie Dead <gasps> I know. What? I was so jealous. <laughs> I'm not? I'm not. <laughs> Nobody told me that. <laughs> I was jealous on that one. <laughs> Jamie's a sweetheart. Y'all know. He is a I mean, hot he's, sweetheart. He's from here. <laughs> what? 